Hello mates, how's it going? This is a really awkward video, I'll be honest with you. Um, so, this is a video that I did not want to make as I try not to be a commentary channel that focuses on current day news because I don't feel as though those videos do... It's just not the type of videos that I like to make, but Persona is such a near and dear franchise to my heart and who I am as a person. I would not be here without that game series, specifically Persona 3. Whoa, what the hell? That was a lie. <laughs> As much as I love Persona 3, my second favorite Persona game, but no, I would not be here without Persona 4. Uh, that is what I meant to say originally. And this game series, Atlas, I, I mean, uh, they're just their products in general are just such a pivotal, they've played such a pivotal role in my development as a, as, as a person, as to the adult that I am, the, the teenager that I was, the middle schooler that I was when I first started playing these games, that it's just, I have this, this really warm, fuzzy feeling inside when I saw that trailer, that, that reveal trailer for Persona 3 Reload, that I just had to come here and talk to somebody, talk to you lot, because honestly, I don't have... I have friends, but I feel like I'm a bit too nerdy in a sense where some I feel I feel like I, anybody else that I talk to, if I text somebody, I'll be like, "Oh, did you see that Persona trailer? Yeah, yeah, I saw that Persona trailer. It seems really fun. I like Persona Fives, and I was all like, "Yeah, but like, did you see how the intricacies of it, and then the stylized? They're coming back. Soijima is here. And so like, I feel like I'm 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 a bit too nerdy. So you know, I'll make a video about it instead. <laughs> So originally, I did have a more professional video that I wanted to make, which was going to be a editorial video, I guess, where I was going to document why I love the remakes that games have. But I didn't get past the outline of that video as I've kind of retrospectively um, quit making videos for this channel to focus on other endeavors in life. But if you don't mind me rambling on for a few minutes, <laughs> cue in freaking 30 minute video here. The thing that I love about remakes is how it's not the same product. It's a new product for new people and it's a new product for people who already love that game. What I love about Persona 4, I mean, excuse me. Can you tell Persona 4 is my favorite P uh, my favorite Persona game? Um, the thing that made me so hyped for P3 being remade is not only one do I feel like it is the most underrepresented Persona game in the new trilogy, in the Social Trilogy, but it also brings us a potential step forward to a remake for Persona 4, the game that quite literally saved my life. And the thing is is that Persona 4 Remake, hypothetically, if it is, if it ever does get remade, it cannot replace the original. And it doesn't have to. The Persona 4 that I played in middle school is not the same game that I played recently. I'm replaying through Persona 4 for the last time, potentially, hopefully, the last time before I platinum it, I've played it like three or so times in the past year, and it's not the same game. I'm in a totally different headspace. I'm in a, to I'm a totally different person. The 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 like fourteen, thirteen year old middle schooler, uh, depressed little person that I was when I first played that game is not the twenty one, almost twenty two year old, new and invigorized. Uh, person that I am today so Persona 4 doesn't hit like it used to and I'm glad it doesn't I'm glad I'm not in the headspace that I was when I originally played Persona 4 I'm glad that I'm in a more happier place in life that I can play Persona 4 and it doesn't reduce me to tears like it used to I mean granted it still does I mean the ending credits I won't spoil I'm but mind you, I will not spoil anything for any Persona games in this video. It's just me kind of rambling about my love for this series and my love for Atlas, if you don't mind me just nerding out for a pre-30 minute video again. Essentially, what I'm trying to say is that the Persona 4 that I played at the time that I played it 
is not the Persona 4 that I'm playing through right now. And the Persona 4 that will be remade, hopefully in the future, it will never come close to how gut-wrenching it was to play through that game all those years ago. And I'm glad. I'm happy for that. Because I'm happy, I'm hopeful that the way that Persona 4 has changed my life Somebody else who plays that game for the first time will have that same experience, that same life-changing experience that I had with that game all those years ago. The thing that I love about video game remakes is that it does not replace the original. Persona 4 will always be there for me to replay, to cherish the memories that I've had with that game. And the new game will make memories, new memories for myself and new memories for new players. I've been speaking a lot on this channel. Oh, excuse me. I've spoken a lot on this channel about how a lot of games from my childhood um, are dead series or games that will never come back. And this is the first game ever that is a game that not that I played in my childhood, which I mean, technically, I guess. I mean, it was middle school when middle school was what, maybe like what, five or six years ago for me. So it's recent. Actually, no, excuse me. I played Persona 3 when I was like 19. What am I talking about? <laughs> Jesus Christ, P4 is still on my mind. I played I played P3 when I was 19. I'm t I'm, I turned 22 this year. Even still, it's, it's, it's a rather nostalgic game for me. It really is. Oddly enough, it's, it's a game that it's definitely, again, my second favorite Persona game behind P4. Obviously, for very, very much biased reasons. It's a game that I don't even know how to describe. I feel like every single Persona game in the new trilogy has this sort of aura to it. P5 has this aura to it that even though it might not have been my um, cup of tea, it definitely has, you know, garnered a large fan base. P4 has this aura to it, this very homey, roomy, just cozy feeling to it. And and then P3 has this sort of, I don't like to, I'm not really good with words, Matt, but I, and I don't want to use the word edgy, but it has this rather, hmm, Persona 3 has this sort of dismal, affection to it. It, it it's almost akin to a listening to the soundtrack of silent hill or playing a, a a oh my gosh like rule of rose that's a that's a survival horror game that was published by atlas you guys should uh, well i won't spoil that but that's actually a game that i'm watching somebody else play through right now there's something so alluring to I don't know. I don't want to say there's something alluring about depression, but there's something so alluring about the the gloominess of that game that just attracts me to it. And also, I feel like the, I won't even get into the gameplay. T you know what? Let's nerd out for a second. Let's talk about gameplay for a second. So so unbiased opinion, unbiased opinion aside, which which do I, you know what? Let's stir up the fan base. Let's stir, let's make some fanboys angry. Um, unbiased opinion aside, what is the best Persona game? Ha hands down has to be Persona 5 Royal. Anybody who says it's not Royal is smoking some hardcore copium. Next up, in my opinion, I would have to say Persona 3. And then after that, again, we're doing the, we're doing the, uh, Social Trilogy. Then after that, Persona 4. The reason why I put Persona 4 as the least best is because I feel like it's the most standard JRPG with, excuse me, it's the most standard JRPG, what the hell, I said the same thing twice, it's the most standard RPG, whereas Persona 5 obviously has the complete stylization and it, it improves on everything that came before it in the previous Persona titles, but the thing that I love, the thing that attracted me towards Persona 3 is how it plays almost like a light uh, Megaton, excuse me, it plays like a light 
Shin Megami Tensei game. Whereas you can play Persona 4 in Persona 5 like a Pokemon title. The, the starter Pokemon that you get, you can keep it all throughout the whole entire game. Persona 3, you can't do that. You have to adapt to the game. You have to adapt to the game's mechanics, and if you don't, you're going to get your ass kicked. And that's what I loved about Persona 3. It felt like a very tough game to play. Even now, when I replayed through Persona 3, I think I replayed it. I, actually, I sped, through, I sped ran through that video that I made to make that Persona 3 video. I played it in about like seven or nine days. I finished that game in about a week and it was uh, it was new game plus. But even with me doing that game for the second time, it was still difficult. It was still it wasn't as difficult as the first time, but that's kind of a test to how uh, tight that game's gameplay is. And I know a lot of people don't like P3's gameplay. Honest, it's just a matter of opinion. In my in my opinion, which means absolutely nothing, I'm just a random guy on the internet. I feel like P3 has the most fun gameplay. If P3 had the presentation of Persona 5, I think it would be the best Persona game. Legitimately the best. It's just I love how unforgiving that game is. And it's not unforgiving in a Dark Souls form. It's unforgiving if you don't play the game in the way that it's intended. Whereas P5 and P... Especially P5. Jesus Christ. P5 and P4, once you know how a Persona game runs, you can just blast through those games like it's nothing. There isn't really a challenge to those games after you know uh, the ins and outs of Omega 10, of Mega 10, of the Mega 10 series. Yo, I stutter quite a bit anyways ultimately i think it will be fairly interesting to see how atlas tackles the gameplay of p3 reload is it p3 reload or is it p3 reloaded reload just kind of sounds weird but i'm knowing atlas's naming archetypes i'm sure it's just reload instead of reloaded oh my gosh reload royal why the hell did they name P4 Golden? Interesting. Anyways, they probably won't make Reload gameplay similar to P3. It's probably going to be a, a similar rehash of P5 Royal, which, eh, you know, to each their own. I Again, P5 Royal is obviously the most popular one, and I'm definitely outnumbered, and most people do not like the gameplay of 3. Which, honestly, that more than likely has to do more with you not being able to control the other party members more so than the game being rather punishing. But I do hope they uh, return back to having the game be a bit more challenging because, honestly, P4 and P5 are oh, way too much of a cakewalk if you know what you're doing. But ultimately, I'm really looking forward to this remake, lads. It's... um. I am so excited to return back to, I forget the name of, it's not Yasogami Inaba, it is, it is, damn, and I made a tweet about this too when I first, when I, when I completed the game, I forget what the town or what the school is called in P4, in P3, but oh my gosh, okay, one thing I will be interested to see is the how they're going to tackle the characters. Because that was definitely one thing that I felt was rather lacking in the in Persona 3. Is that I was not very... Persona 4 obviously has the best characters. I mean, the game is literally centered around getting to know the characters' ins and outs. Of course it would have the most fleshed out characters. But I, I talked about this a bit in the Ace video that I did for the original P3. And it was like... The original characters just felt rather grating until the final half of the game. And I wonder how they were going to recontextualize that. Or maybe that was a... And it was a theory that I made in the video that that was purposeful. Again, I won't go into details about p three story as to why that may be. But I'm really interested to see how they'll tackle this new game. Especially after the success of P5. I wonder how that will influence a few of their redesigns and how they'll go about making this game oh my gosh i'm sitting i'm just thinking i'm i really hope this remake does really well
because if it does, that means P4 is, oh my god, I'm, so, oh my god, I'm, I'm actually so hyped for P3, but P4, I could literally die so happy, but, um, yeah, I do not like watching trailers, so this will more than likely be the one and only Persona related video that you lot will hear from me until the game actually releases. And wait, didn't they say it releases early next year? Holy shit, Atlas. Quick turnaround. I mean, granted, we have been speculating and there have been rumors about this game since like 2017. <laughs> so I'm, I'm sure they've been working on this for quite some time. But uh, yeah, that's my obligatory Justice Persona video. Uh, I hope somebody's happy to see, hear me talk about Persona again. And depending on my mood, I will more than likely have to reinstall P5 Royal and or a Persona dancing game to have as background footage. It more than likely will be the dancing game as I cannot be... <laughs> Anyways, lads, it's been Justice. I'll see you a lot later. Peace. Oh, dear.